Hi guys, we're at the dam with some friends. Look, hello everybody. Hello. 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 We're going to take a walk around the dam. And it has the dam here, look, see. Thank you, Lennox, for the hat and the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, so that side's the dam. There we are. And then if we go around here, they've made use of the valley and they've put, um, looks like, orange orchard down there and all sorts of stuff. Ideal fertile, fertile land. Right, we've just stopped here to catch our breath. Oh, look at that. And it's a lovely day for it. Lovely day for a walk. Well, everyone's abandoned the path. I think it still goes on. Let's have a look. It's a little, uh, yeah, you might be right. You might be right. It does tend to stop here. So there's not a circular walk around the dam. That's a shame. Well, in all fairness, it does doesn't mention a walk so what we're going to do we're going to attempt to go back to the car and drive around the other side there's a lot of thorns ouch oh oh they're nasty ouch ouch they're very nasty, them fawns. Especially when they get you in the privates. Why aren't you listening today? Walks in there, listen, they sit. That's Daisy the dog, doesn't really listen to you. Sit. And he's found some daisies. Well done, Daisy the dog. Come on then, Daisy the dog. Okay, have we established what the dam is even called? Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Everu. Everu Dam, okay. And have we established where we could walk? We're going to drive on the main road. Yeah. Back up to the other end of this and come in. Right. And there's a more friendly pathway, and you'll see this the old houses the where people there. used to live. Oh. They turn the area into a reservoir. Oh. Okay, so we are going for this sketches. walk. Sketches. Look, sketches. Right, so um, our friend here has brought sketches along. Let's have a look. Sketches. One moment. Paid a lot of money for these. So. She's brought sketches along for walking. Not um, I think they're slippers, actually, and glittery Christmas, Christmas pants. trousers. Disco pants. Disco pants. <laughs> right, so it's 20 degrees, guys, nice and warm, and she's brought her disco pants and slippers. sketches <laughs> slippers. As I say before, appropriate footwear. Oh, well done, Emma. That seems quite appropriate. And I have got my new trainers on. They're very appropriate. Polly's got... A pro oh, very appropriate. Well done, Polly. Well, I knew that I would get told off, George. I've yes, learnt. Yes. Learnt. But we have got one amongst us that's decided to bring her slippers and her Christmas trousers along. <laughs> Disco trousers, never mind. Friends have obviously been in Cyprus a bit too long and decided just to stop their truck in the middle of the road, dirt road. 
and dump it there and walk on and they're off there you go we've managed to drive round this side of the dam on a bit of a dirt road there's the road it doesn't do any favours for your tyres guys it's a beautiful boxing day we normally go to South End on a boxing day to walk off our big Christmas dinner today we are in sunny Cyprus near Paphos and we've got about 18 to 20 degrees of t-shirts shorts on apart from Emma she decided to put some weird funky trousers on right come on Daisy the dog it's obvious she wants to sniff around right so we're heading to an abandoned village it's apparently used to be occupied by Turkish Cypriots and unfortunately had to abandon it in 1974 or it was abandoned when the dam was built and of course they will be flooded so I'm not sure which story is true but we may find out right so we've just turned the corner and it looks like we've come across the abandoned village Can you hear the ducks? What a beautiful place! Well, guys, I don't know why this village is not reoccupied, but it would make a great place to live. Right, so uh, we're going to go and discover some of the buildings Emma's coming up to with the dog. So, come on guys, are you coming up to look through some of the houses? Right, let's have a look. Uh, this one looks like uh, made by local stone. And uh, let's just, oh, we might be able to walk inside here. Yes, there's a, we should go through the front door really, but there is a window we could walk through. Yeah, here we are. Right, guys. Again, it's got the traditional old ceiling. Now, uh, we're going to come to the fireplace. Here we are. It's our fireplace. Now, now yes, it looks like a local sheep farmer's using it to keep his sheep in. He's made some... Smell it dens for us 
What a lovely view. I'm going to go to this one that's right on the front. Now, I do believe this one would have been prime position in the village. Here we are. Now, some of it's boarded up, so I don't know if we'll be able to get in. Let's go to the front door. So, guys, this is the front door, the view. Look at that. Whoa. Now, well, let's see if we can get in. No, it looks like one of the local farmers is using it to store grain and his tractor part parts. So, just got to be careful. There's some stinging nettles down here. I've just been stung. There we are. Right, so, now look at those up there. A mixture of old and new. So we'll go down here, shall we, Emma? We'll go down here because uh, looks like they've been looted. There's nothing left in them houses. Not even any chairs or anything. And some of them have been used for shelter for the animals. There's the farm up there. See it? Farm's up there. Right, but there is a grand house just a few hundred yards up, so we're going to go to that and see if we can get in. That's a nice one, nice project. Look at that. Looks like the pigeons have taken over that one. A little bit of a collapsed roof. And a collapsed side. I think we've just come across some of the previous occupiers of the village. There we go. Right, now Emma's found the real gem here. It's a beautiful old building. We've got some collapsed stone, but there is a pathway up. And uh, Emma, where's the pathway? Oh, thank you. Right, it's down here. Oh, here we are. We've got the original steps as well. There we are. Oh. Right. right, let's go and have a look. Wow. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, again, it's probably used to store animals. Now, this was quite impressive at the time. Look at a high roof. Original tun and groove ceiling. There we are. Gap for the loft space. This probably was a hall or school. As a guess, I think this was the school. What do you think, Emma? Looks like. Yeah, it looks like. From the outside, it looks like. Uh, like a church or something. Okay. Looks like someone used a toilet as well, but I don't know. Oh, okay, fair enough. And what they've done, they've put, um, instead of having a concrete floor, they've put joists down, look, and they've got a wooden floor there. I've got a feeling it was a school, especially with the old wooden floor. Gunshots. Where's the gunshots? Oh yes, it looks like someone's been practicing with their gun. Oh dear. But this on the outside is lovely. I mean, it could have been a town hall. But look at the view. Okay. Sit out here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely, eh? How are we going to get back down? 
Now we're going to get back down. Good idea. Or we'll have to. Ah, oh, I wonder if we can walk round for a minute. We'll be able to walk round the back and get down that way. Oh, yes, we can. Come on. Right, just mind the uh, thistles. Right, we've got. Okay, mine. These are horrible. Okay. So, here we are. We're at the back. Back of the school. And then look, some more village houses up there. Oh. That block. <laughs> Just outside. That's what they used to do. Uh, the toilet block outside. And of course it was um, uh flush away, it was just like a, a sort of cesspit. I think many of people went to the toilet and were never seen again. Several fishing men down there, look. Hello? Have you got anything? No. No, it's not caught anything. Tim's worn appropriate shoes. Let's have a look. Russia boots. There we are. Last time he came out, I think he had flip-flops, so I think he thought better of it this time. There we are. Oh, we've got proper walking shoes. There's some nice trainers. Very good. These work ones. <laughs> So guys, we're in the middle of an Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Looks like some of these fishermen might come at night. Like a little campfire. Mm. Spend the night here. At the abandoned northern village. I think it's getting increasingly hotter. It's probably about 24 degrees now. There's the wood pigeons again. They really are enjoying themselves. This sort of area Paphos Polis area. This is definitely worth a visit. Of course, the number one visit is the Cat Sanctuary, and then everything else comes second. Well, I thought this was grass coming back up on this field, but it's not. It could be for the sheep to graze on. Or it could be wheat. It's very fertile, whatever it is. All right, we're back at the abandoned truck. That's our truck. Oh, that's your truck, is it? Yeah. And what decide, made you decide just to abandon it in the middle of the road? That's the driver. That's the driver, is it? Okay. Fair enough. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Anywhere you'd like me to go, just put it in the comments below.